everybody, and welcome to the Melanie High School's 2024 Concert Band Concert. My name is Madison, and I play the flute. My name is Adam, and I play the French horn. We will be your MCs for this evening. Tonight, we will showcase eight pieces by our very own ninth grade band. The piece you just heard was Across the Sunlit Path by Naoya Wada. It is about a walk through the park on a beautiful sunny day. Before we play our next piece, here are, some, here are a couple of house rules Housekeeping rules. Please silence all electronic de devices and refrain from using them during the concert. The concert is being recorded by Ninja Kawasaki and will be posted on YouTube, so we recommend that you just sit back and enjoy the music. If at any point you need to use the restrooms, the end building restrooms are open, which is the building behind this. One, if you have any restless children, please take them outside. Two, applaud only after a piece is done. Three, re please refrain from, taking, from talking and moving during the performance. If you need to leave or enter the cab, please wait until a piece is done to leave or re-enter. Five, please know flash photography as it distracts the performers. Six, most importantly, enjoy the concert. The next, piece, the next two pieces that we perform are The Crossings by Robert Sheldon and Down by the Sally Garden by Patrick Roselle. The Crossings is a fast, exciting piece that starts off with a grand fanfare. And Down by the Sally Garden is an old Irish folk song depicting water flowing by a willow tree. Under the direction of Mr. Brian Hirata, the Milwaukee High School Concert Band.
The piece to be performed is Stumptown Stomp by Stephen Hodges. It is a fun piece depicting a good old American bar dance. Under the direction of Mr. Tori Kawasaki, Mr. Tori Kawasaki, the Melanie High School concert band.
Twilight Falls by Robert Sheldon and Lighthearted March by Yoboko. As Twilight Falls depicts the beauty of the time between sunset and night, which we call Twilight, which Mr. Kawasaki says you have to learn about when learning how to drive. Lighthearted March is one of Mr. Kawasaki's favorite marches because of the original Japanese title for it, Hazumu Kokoro, teaches us that the heart is resilient and can bounce back from anything. Under the direction of Mr. Kawasaki, the Millennium High School concert band.
Good evening, everybody, and thank you. And while we have you, Captain, <laughs> we wanted to say a few things. First of all, thank you. Thank you for allowing your child to continue with music in high school. Um, it's our belief, and we have this shared philosophy that um, music does a lot for our children. And it's not only about playing the music, but it's about character development and personal skills. And that's what we strive to accomplish, to be honest, with these kids. And, and we keep telling them that if you take care of the person, the music will, will be a reflection of the person. So that's where we're coming from. So we just wanted to share that um, philosophy and thought with you tonight while you're here supporting your child. Um, we also have this department-wide goal of, goal of music literacy. So we spend a lot, a lot, a lot of time teaching them how to, and practicing reading of music. So we do what we call sight reading, almost like on a daily basis. And I think um, we were, Mr. Kawasaki and I were talking the other afternoon and we said, you know, we think we probably read through more music than they've played in their entire band careers in, in you know, three fourths of the year. So we spend that much time on reading, but um, really we just wanted to share the philosophy that um, taking care of the child, the personal development and all of that is um, you know, our primary goal. So the why of tonight is also they get to practice that because they have to set us, they're gonna have to clean up and everybody has to participate and everybody has a role and function. So hopefully they can understand that. And as a teacher, um, for over um, amount of years, <laughs> more than 10, <laughs> it's, it's really refreshing and really makes me feel good when I find out some of our band alumni, our music department alumni come back and they're really successful. And then you, you sit back and think, yeah, I could have predicted that because what they do and what they show us in the class really is a reflection of their future. And so we try and stress that too. So I better stop talking because I can talk forever and ever. But Mr. Kawasaki wanted to share a few things as well. Hello, everybody. Um, if you don't know who I am, I'm Mr. Kaus. I'm the newest teacher here at Milani High School. Uh, I mean, I've been here for like three years. I've been helping the marching band for five, so I've been around enough. Um, but I just wanted to uh, share a couple things as well. Um, I'm very grateful that I got to be here at Milani, especially working with Mr. Hirata. It's, um, it's, it's very nice working with somebody with the same philosophy. And I will share that philosophy with you again. I'll hammer it home. Um, the, on the outside, it's easy to see that the, the students have gotten better at music. Yeah, it's easy to see like, oh, yeah, well, they got better at the instrument. If you've been to a Paul Pops concert in the first quarter, you know that they've improved. Okay. Um, if not, go watch it on YouTube, I posted it on YouTube. <laughs> but they've improved a lot. And that's kudos, kudos to not only that, but kudos to you for, 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 um, for supporting them in that sense. Yeah, supporting them in their musical training. Um, but it's easy to see, like I said, it's easy to see that just the outside of it. The inside part of it is that they're learning how to work hard. They're learning how to uh, work hard, not only for themselves, but in a, in a setting like this, you have to work hard with everybody. And if you, don't do, if you don't do that, and you can hear, and the students know, if one person out of this 30-something person ensemble, if one person misses a note, everybody is, gets blamed for it. Not from us, but like from like audiences' reactions or something like that, yeah. Um, or even they themselves know. Like, oh, the saxophone key, the saxophone's missed something, or the trumpet's missed something. Yeah, so that, that sense of teamwork, that sense of ownership within not only themselves, but within the entire ensemble is what drives music. And that's why I think music education is so important and why any, any team sport is so important. In everyday classes, like for example, um, my dad was an English teacher, so I'll say this. Um, for his English students, they only really worry about their own grade. They're like, can I, get, can I get an A? Can I do well? Versus band, it's like, yeah, everybody will get an A, but how did you do at the concert, right? Did, did the group do well? Did my friends all together, did we do it? And I think that's the most important part about band. 
or any music ensemble in that sense, is that we do things together. We clean up together, we start things together, we practice together. And I think that's missing from a lot of our, from a lot of our core education. Yeah, that sense of teamwork. We're so worried about like, what can we decorate ourselves on the outside? How many awards can I get? How many medals can I get? But have you ever helped someone before? Have you ever, um, have you ever made someone a smile? And these students are learning that through uh, music, through whatever they do, sports, baseball, stuff like that, yeah. So even if they're not gonna take band next year, I highly, highly, highly recommend that they do some kind of team activity. Because I think we have enough selfish people in this world. Yeah, we need to make sure that everyone can work together as a society. And that's how we, that's how, that's how we can make everybody else happy. Okay, all right, great. Now, I think I've talked long enough. Um, I will introduce the last piece here. Wonderful parents, friends, and students. It is time for our final piece of the evening. We don't talk about Bruno. Under the direction of Mr. Brian Girata, the Milamani High School concert band. Yeah. 
and Reagan. There's only two percussion music on band, but there's like five, six percussion parts. So we need like more percussion, as you can see. Um, so we have Evan Murphy. Yeah. We have Cali. And he's not in the bottom band, but he's he's an upperclassman that is really good at drums. So we have Kaden here. again for attending our concert. Some of us have, like I said, some of us have played as a group for several years, others just this year. Regardless, we have many memories laughing, learning, and working hard together. These memories will last a lifetime. On behalf of all the students, thank you for supporting us on our musical journey. Parents, please allow us some time to clean up our instruments, set up the calf, and return our equipment to the bedroom. Thank you again for attending our concert, and travel home safely. Good night.